Were you thinking about moving to Phoenix, Arizona and you were curious if they have good schools? If they have good elementary schools, good high schools, possibly college that maybe your kids are gonna wanna stay in state for. If that's a question that's been on your mind, that is a question that we get a lot from the people that are wanting to move down here and they're calling us on a weekly basis asking us the same question. So that's why this video, we're gonna talk about the best school districts around Phoenix Metro and the best elementary schools, high schools, and if you stay till the end, we'll have a brief discussion about the colleges that we have here in Arizona. So let's get right into it now. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope that the information that we bring to you is beneficial to you and your family. Today, we're gonna to talk about schools, which we know it's a very, very important subject for most of us parents, because we want our kids to be in good schools, get a good education, hopefully get a good job or start a business or whatever they're gonna do, but we want them to have that good basis. And that's why this is so important. So like I said, we get calls all the time from people that are moving here to Arizona from different states around the country and they're asking the same questions and schools is a big one. So that's what we're gonna cover in this video and if you need any other assistance while you're moving down here or you know anybody who wants to move down here to Arizona, give me a call, text me, call me, email me, whatever is easier for you and I got you back when it comes to moving or living here in Arizona. So subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you're informed when a new video comes out so you don't miss anything. And check out the channel for any other videos on information that you are looking for should be here and we will put out a new video about anything else that we get questions about every single week. All right, so let's start with elementary school since that's the uh, you know beginning level. We'll skip over preschool because that's supposed to just be fun and they should be doing nothing but drawing and having fun. That's good. So when it comes to elementary school, I've checked three different websites and I'm gonna put links to all of them below so you can look for yourself as well. But it looks like well, let's take a step back because maybe in your state, they don't have similar programs or similar schools like this. One thing that you have to know about Arizona is we have, other than public schools, there's many charter schools and they're growing in numbers because their popularity is so high. We have our kids in one of these schools and I'll tell you more about that so you can have an opinion from somebody that's actually in it. Um, so you have your choice to put your kids in public school with a district or in one of the charter schools. And in my opinion, the difference is obviously for charter schools, they seem to just have more freedom with their curriculum. So they're able to do some different things and teach the kids different things that they might not learn in a public school. Um, but again, big disclosure, I just wanna say this up front, nothing against public schools, right? perfectly okay if that's what you want for your kids. It's great that we have these choices and options so we can choose and maybe try one, try another and see how it goes. But I can tell you from our personal experience so far, our girls are now 10 years old and 12 years old, 10 and 12 years old. And they've been in charter school from the beginning. At least the younger one started in first grade. The older one started in third grade. And we've been very, very happy with the results that we see and the kind of curriculums that they teach and how advanced they are compared to a public school here. So at least for our area where we're at, it seems like they're about a year and a half to two years ahead of the public schools and what they learn. So again, that could be great or not great. It just depends on what you want from your kids or different from each other. So even for us, for an example, our older child, who started in third grade did really well and then when she switched to the higher school in fifth grade and with the pandemic and going to online school all that she kind of fell off the wagon and never recovered so she struggled in uh, fifth and sixth grade 
So we decided to take her out and put her in a public school. So now she's gonna do seventh grade and eighth grade in a regular public school. Our younger one still loves it. She's a straight A student still. So she's still gonna be there for as long as she feels good and comfortable. And because we just have that understanding as parents that we want them to have a good education, but we also want them to be kids and have a good time and experience things in life as a child and have fun, not have to do too much homework which is one big misconception that I can tell you firsthand. A lot of people will talk and say that, oh, don't go to a charter school or this certain charter school because they have so much homework, three to four hours of homework per night. And that's true and not true. And this is a perfect example for us as a family. Our younger child who loves school and does well and everything, she does maybe half an hour to an hour of homework per night. And this is for basis Peoria. And our older child, we were struggling with her with two to three hours a night of homework with us helping and she was still struggling. So I think it's really just depending on the kid and how they get accommodated to that school and that kind of curriculum. So don't listen to what other people necessarily tell you because every kid's gonna be different. Your kid's gonna behave differently. They're gonna react differently to the curriculum and the way that things happen in these schools. So just make the best decision that you can make as a parent and then try it out and see how it goes. And if you have to adapt later and change, you gotta do it. All right, so I don't know how this turned into a personal story, but I figure that that's the best way to explain to you guys what a difference is between a charter school and a public school. The reason why I wanted to make this distinction is because if you look at this list of the top schools in our Phoenix Metro, almost half of them are basis charter schools or some other type of charter school. If I look at the numbers and count them out, you're gonna see that there is more than double the number of schools in the top 20 schools that are charter schools. There's probably only five or six public districts in there. The rest of them up to the top 20 are charter school. You're gonna see the name bases in there quite a lot. I think there's probably six or seven uh, campuses of bases that are gonna be in that top 20. So that's why I thought it was important for you guys to understand what that difference is from a parent who has had kids in both. So that's just something that you'll have to, again, talk it over as parents and make a decision and decide which direction to go. If you look at the top 20 high schools, it's gonna be pretty much the same. About half of them, if not more than half, are gonna be charter schools. So with high schools, that's not something I can tell you a whole lot about because our girls have not gotten that far yet. But from things that we've heard from other people, it kind of works the same. Um, they're gonna be much more advanced in the charter schools than the public schools. We have already made a decision as parents that we want our kids to experience high school in a public school, even though the education is not up to par and what we would like it to see, what we would like it to be. But again, we want our kids to experience the personal life, the social life of being a child, being a teenager, and they're gonna have plenty of time to focus on just school, hopefully. But that's just the decision that we've made as parents right now. Maybe that will change in the future, I don't know. But that's the awesome thing about Phoenix, Arizona, guys, is what I'm trying to get across to you in this video is you have great choices and super, super good options for your kids, whether it's at an elementary level, high school level, and then even into college, you know, you guys probably know, we have a couple of great universities here, which I'll talk a little bit about that in the end of this video. So you have really good choices. Now, the next step that most people ask us when they call us before they move out here, or, you know, Robert, help us find a home, because as you guys know, we focus a lot on helping our clients find the best home in the best neighborhoods and best school districts, because that's what they ask us for. I said, Robert, I want you to find us a home in one of the best school districts in town, you know, what is that school district? So that's, again, it's very important because I'm sure most cities anywhere else in town, they're split up in different districts. So if you're gonna go to a public school, it's gonna be important on which school district does have better results than others. And as far as the criteria for that, you can check on these websites to see how they score these, uh, these schools and these districts. And obviously you want a perfect 10 out of 10 or a nine out of 10 or even an eight of 10 is real is still really good. Um, and that's what these top five to seven school districts are rated at. And as you can see here, 
any of these you're gonna find some good schools in so these are the big districts within those direct districts they have different schools so you got to kind of check and see if those schools rate as high as you want them to rate but this is a good starting point for you guys to see if you want to be on the east side of town or west side of town in north wherever you want to be looks like they're going to be mostly on the southeast valley that's where it seems like most of these are at but even here where we are in north peoria this is a very good school district as well so anywhere that you want to end up being located or relocated here in phoenix metro we're gonna be able to find you a very good school or bring you close to a public school or for sure a charter school so you have some really good options guys i hope that helps explain a little bit of how our schools are split up and how they're rated and in what parts of town you're gonna to find in these locations. And if you have additional information, reach out to me and call me. Um, if it's something specific you wanna know, I'll definitely answer for you. And if I don't know, I'll find the information for you. Just comment below and I got you back because we definitely want to help you find the best solution for your family, especially for your kids when it comes to their education because we know how important that is to you. So as I mentioned before, if you wait till the end of this video, let's talk a little bit about universities. It's just super common knowledge that we have a couple of the greatest universities for a certain type of degree that you want. So, you know, we have Arizona State University that's located here in Tempe, huge campus that has expanded throughout the city. So you'll have a little bit extra locations where you can attend. You have U University of Arizona over in Tucson, which is an amazing medical school, very popular, very well rated. Uh, but for that, obviously you're gonna be about an hour and a half south of Phoenix in Tucson. And then if you go north, you have Northern Arizona University, which is right up in Flagstaff, where you have skiing and just a small quaint little town where it's just a, just a beautiful place to be, to live and to go to school. So those are our three major universities here. Of course, you have Grand Canyon University, which is a very popular and very well-known Christian college. And then Midwestern University, again, a very powerful or strong medical school. So you have some great options if you decide you wanna stay in town, or if your kids decide they wanna stay here in town, or if the kids just wanna come here just for school, those are the options that you have. So any more information that you need on these, you'll have the links below. Let me know other questions that you have for us. And again, remember guys, if you need anything having to do with moving to Phoenix, living in Phoenix, having fun, outdoor activities, this channel is all dedicated to that. So subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you're informed when a new video comes out so you don't miss anything and check out the channel for any other videos on information that you are looking for should be here and we will put out a new video about anything else that we get questions about every single week thanks so much for watching have a great day and we'll talk to you soon